friends, my name is Blake Shook and I've gone from two beehives to over 30,000. And the point of my videos is to teach you practical tips that I've learned from raising anywhere from those two to 30,000 hives. Today we're going to talk a minute about um, a weak hive that just won't grow. It's so frustrating, especially if you're new to beekeeping. You know, you install the package or you install the nook and they just aren't growing very fast. A lot of times it just takes patience and there are some years where the weather doesn't help either. If it's really wet, really rainy, or super dry and there's not a lot of forage for the bees, it's just going to slow them down a lot. So sometimes it just takes patience, but sometimes there are things you need to watch out for too that could be causing the bees to slow down. So this was a package that we installed, you know, over a month ago and they haven't quite filled up their bottom box. They're growing, but not great. We've had a lot of really cool wet weather, and so we did give them a little bit of a pollen patty to help them. We've been feeding them one-to-one -one sugar water. Uh, it's not critical, but if you see many adult small hive beetles, we've got our small hive beetle trap in the hive. I absolutely love these for small-scale beekeeping. They're metal, so they're way tougher than those flimsy plastic ones. Um, we sell these at the Bee Supply, and uh, they're, they're fantastic. The best way to go for trapping small hive beetles. But this is a hive that, you know, they're trying to grow. Um, they've got brood. You know, I'm seeing a lot of eggs. I'm seeing good brood, um, but they just seem a little on the slow side. So the biggest thing to check for is just to make sure that you do have eggs and larva and brood. So you've got to make sure that they do have a queen. If they don't, obviously you need to requeen. But you know, they've got brood and they've got pretty good looking brood overall. I mean, you can see, and I'm going to show you a couple things in this one that might be helpful for you. So you can see we've got a really nice frame of cat brood, and the brood pattern is, is pretty good, pretty solid brood pattern. Now there's a few other frames in here that the brood pattern isn't nearly as good. So you can see on this frame, for example, the brood pattern isn't all that great. But I'm okay with that because I do have some frames with a really good brood pattern. And that tells me that the queen isn't failing because she does have good brood pattern on a few frames. It tells me that on this frame in particular, she was probably laying around pollen or nectar, something was in her way. So I feel pretty decent about the queen. Um, decent bee population. They've got enough food. Uh, you know, they've probably got about 15 to 20 pounds of excess stores of syrup stored in this bottom box, which is about where I want it. So I'm going to keep feeding them maybe a half a gallon of one-to-one -one sugar water a week. Um, but then the other thing I'm going to do, and this is one of my favorite things to do on hives that I'm just not happy with their rate of growth, is I do like to feed them a little bit of complete. So complete, and I'll, I'll link to this in the video, but this is complete. Um, it's got 157 or 158 different ingredients. And what the claim is that it dramatically increases your brood survival rate. And so um, I use this as a small scale beekeeper and I use it some commercially too. And it does seem to increase the amount of brood production and the amount of brood that actually survives. Because there's a decent percentage of eggs and larvae that don't survive, that actually die and the bees clean them out. But this really seems to help the brood survive at much greater rates. And so the best thing to do is treat with this um, four times. Um, it's an all natural product. And you mix four teaspoons of this with a quart of one to one sugar water. And then you just drizzle eight ounces on the top bars of each weak hive. And so I've just got this little pump up sprayer. And <clears throat> you know, the goal is it's called the drench method, where you're basically drenching the hive with this mixture and there we go. And it doesn't have to be exactly eight ounces, but about eight ounces. And the bees immediately eat it, clean it up, and it gets into their system, which is exactly what we're looking for. And then you're going to do this four times, you know, anywhere from four to seven days apart. And usually it really helps the bees start growing much, much quicker. And then you can mix it with syrup too. So if you want to do about half that strength and mix it with the one-to-one -one syrup you're feeding, in addition to the drench, that can be really helpful too. But other than that, if you've got a good healthy queen, um, she's got a decent brood pattern, um, they've got enough food, uh, there's not much you can do other than wait on them to grow, hope the weather gets a little better, 
and then giving them something like complete or a little bit of pollen patties uh, can be helpful as well to boost them up a bit. Um, if all that fails, um, then you might need to go ahead and requeen, but I would give it, you know, at least a month to six weeks after feeding some pollen patty, feeding that one-to-one -one syrup, feeding some complete uh, until making that judgment call. The last thing you can do is test for varroa mites and make sure they don't have a varroa mite issue because that'll certainly hamper growth as well. If you found this helpful, then uh, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.